on this campus really brings back memories. <gasps> Cowards! What who? A veritable bevy of coeds. Um, I say the most recent campus sporting event was most disappointing for our side, wasn't it? Oh, aren't you adorable? Are you in a fraternity, little boy? Not yet, but I'm thinking about joining I Felt a Thigh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So, what do you think of this music television? If I remember correctly, this is the physics department. That explains all the gravity. I see. It's like the spice rack in my fantasy kitchen. Hold on, little fella. This is just for big people. Why don't you come back in about, oh, 17 years? Oh, but, but, but the shelf life of that sodium pentothal is only two years and... Blast! This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small stature. Okay, our next lot is number 15 in your program. This is a one-of-a-kind item, a super mega death ray. It's got the power to enslave the entire human race. Do we have an opening bid? Anything? We'll take any bid. It can enslave the human race? Come on, people, it's solid titanium. You! Over here in the back! Do I hear $100? Oh, come on. $5? All right, free? Enslave the human race. Doesn't cost you a dime. Behind the fat chick! Nope. Go! Okay. <laughs> I'm tired of being small. I wish I was big. Blast! Well, then, let's take a look at your transcript. Meg. Hmm, that's not very impressive. I mean, it's just three letters. It's hardly a name at all. Well, I, I never wanted to call her Meg. I, I wanted to call her Twicky. But Lois said kids these days wouldn't get the reference. You know what I'm talking about, right? Bitty, 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 bitty. I'm not quite sure you're brown material. Don't you have any extracurricular activities at all? Well, I'm president of the Luke Perry Fan Club Cohawk chapter. Hmm. But I've wanted to go to Brown ever since I was a little girl. Well... Actually, I really wanted to go to Wellesley, but my mom said I might as well buy hiking boots and call myself a lesbian right now. <laughs> Meg, eat your salad. We're not having dinner. And just be quiet. I have no future. I'm just going to wait in my room until I'm dead. I'll be in shortly. Peter, we've got to do something. If Meg doesn't get into college, who knows what kind of future she'll have. You ain't getting this meat. This is my meat. Shut up. I found this meat. I'm never gonna get into college. You just need more extracurricular activities. You could get a part-time job. Yeah, I had one when I was in high school. <laughs> oh! Ah! Ah! That'll be $27.50. Come on, Meg, there's gotta be at least 100 clubs at your school. Well, I do have a friend in the school newspaper. That a girl. And I got your first story right here. Lois, I challenge you to a race around the world. Go! <laughs> what we need is a picture for the front page. Well, hold on a second. I gotta rinse my retainer. I'm looking for something tasteful like the Malaysia spread in last month's Vanity Fair. That was so sweet. It was wicked awesome. Stop the pressures, it's Meg. <laughs> I'm just joshing. It's all done at Xerox. <laughs> what can I do here? Look, Neil, I need an activity to get into Brown, and the paper is my last hope. Can I be a reporter? I don't know, Meg. You never seem to be that interested in journalism, or journalists such as myself. <sighs> you know, I never realized how smooth the skin between your acne is. <gasps> okay, I'll give you a shot. I've never been able to get an interview with the mayor of Quahog. You get it, and I'll make you a reporter. You got it. Run, little rabbit, run. But someday our two worlds will be one. I sure hope my face clears up by then. Excuse me, Mayor West? How do you know my language? 
Listen to me. My entire future is in your hands.